Hi, I'm Maya Faber and in this tutorial today I will show you how to change the size of your finished pattern tile in Adobe Illustrator. So let's start with having your pattern. I have my pattern placed on my artboard, but you could also have your pattern as a swatch in the swatches panel. In that case you can just drag it out. To be able to see a little bit better I will hit command H to hide my anchor points. And then let's say that I want to change the size of this pattern. So the easiest way to check your pattern tile size is to check your background box. Let's hit command H again to see which object we have selected. My background box is 1000 pixels wide and high. And let's say that I want to change the size of this pattern to 12 inches instead of 1000 pixels. The first thing I do is to go to Illustrator in the menu, Preferences and Units. And I would change my general units to inches instead of pixels. Hit OK. When I have my background box in the pattern selected, I can see up in the transform panel that my pattern is 13.8 inches. So let's go ahead and change this to 12 inches. What we need to do is to hide all of the extra objects that are falling out of the edges of your pattern tile. So this is if you have a pattern tile that looks like mine. If you already have a um, cut pattern tile where there's nothing falling out of the edges, it's much easier. So I will show you this technique first. So first let's select your background box, hit command C to copy, unselect by clicking your arrow and then hit command F to paste in front. Select everything, your pattern and the box in front and hit command 7 to create a clipping mask. You could also go to object, clipping mask and make. And when you made the clipping mask, you can now change the size of your pattern and that will affect the whole pattern, the background box and all of your objects and the invisible pattern tile at the back of your pattern. So let's go ahead in the transform panel. If you don't see your transform panel up at the control panel at the top, you can go to window and transform. It's the same as this panel over here. And then type in 12 inches and make sure that you have the little chain that says constraint width and height proportions clicked in. And now you have a pattern tile that is 12 inches wide and high. If you want to get back to your original pattern tile, because this is just a clipping mask, if we have a look at view and outline, you can see that the clipping mask is just hiding your objects around the edges of your box. So we will go ahead and release the clipping mask by hitting Command, Option and 7 on a Mac. Or you can go to Object, Clipping Mask and Release. And now we have a little invisible box on top of our pattern that we can just select and make sure that it's the box that has no fill, no stroke and delete that one. So now you have a finished pattern tile that is 12 inches wide and high and you can drag it into your swatches panel. And that's all for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this useful. And if you want to learn more tricks like this, you can check out my Skillshare classes. There's a link to my Skillshare page here below. You can also head over to Instagram to say hello at Maya Faber. And if you like this tutorial, make sure that you hit the subscribe button to my channel to make sure you don't miss out on my future videos.